Hello Alabama. A top recruit that Bama is watching closely has narrowed down to five schools of his choice. That was a big surprise. But, did you see what he said? Before the news, make sure to subscribe to keep getting updates. Blaine Bradford, a standout safety in the young 2026 college football recruiting class, has just narrowed his search for a college program to five notable institutions, positioning himself as one of the main attractions on the national scene. Among the finalists, the renowned Alabama Crimson Tide is featured, along with Ohio State Buckeyes, LSU Tigers, Oregon Ducks, and Notre Dame Fighting Irish, forming an elite group of finalists to host this promising talent from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bradford is preparing to start his high school journey at Catholic High School in Louisiana, already established as the country's number one safety and the third most promising prospect in his state. Additionally, he is listed as the 10th overall recruit for the 2026 cycle, a testament to his exceptional ability and the anticipation surrounding his future. Recently, Bradford visited each of his top five picks, with the most recent visit to Oregon at the end of July, along with a second trip to Notre Dame in the same month. His experiences on these visits have been crucial in shaping his perspective on where he might eventually commit. As for local interest, LSU, Bradford's hometown team, appears to have a special appeal, with him highlighting the solid legacy of the program and its ongoing commitment to excellence both on and off the field. They have a built program. The arrival of the class of 2025 is also great, and LSU has real potential, said Bradford. Still, while his admiration for LSU is evident, Bradford's decision is not yet final opening a window of opportunity for Alabama to make a decisive move. Alabama Crimson Tide, with its history of shaping elite talent and its unwavering commitment to excellence, represents an option Bradford should seriously consider. The program not only prepares players for the NFL but also molds them into leaders on and off the field. In considering his future, Bradford could see Alabama not just as a choice, but as a commitment to greatness, where his potential could be maximized alongside some of the best coaches and facilities in the country. It is essential for Bradford to look beyond proximity and hometown comfort and recognize the value an institution like Alabama can offer in terms of personal and professional development. With the final decision still to come, Alabama remains a distinct choice, ready to welcome a talent of his caliber and aspirations. The Tide program, with its culture of winning and development, could be exactly the place for Bradford to achieve not just success on the field but to become a significant part of a lasting legacy. This legacy that Coach Saban left should be considered, despite his favoring LSU in his comments. If he considers Bama's tradition, he should make that choice here, don't you think? At the end of the video, I want to see your comment too. This year, a new recruit has been turning heads, linebacker Justin Okoronkwo. Kane Womack, Alabama's defensive coordinator, has been lavish in his praise when discussing the new forces shaping the Tide's defense, especially highlighting the impactful presence of Okoronkwo. Justin Okoronkwo has been a revelation, Womack shared with journalists at a recent press conference. I've been really impressed with some of the things he's been doing. These words are not spoken lightly, particularly considering the caliber and intensity of Alabama's football program known for its rigor and high competitiveness. Okoronkwo, hailing from Germany and rated as a three-star recruit, has shown that stars are just a prelude to the real test, performance on the field. And in this regard, he has exceeded expectations. His stellar performance at the 8A game, an annual event where the Crimson Tide showcases itself in an internal match, was a true showstopper. With 11 tackles, leading both teams, and a crucial tackle for a loss of yards, he not only demonstrated his technical skill but also a remarkable adaptation to the American style of play. The transition from playing football in Europe to competing at the collegiate level in the United States is challenging. The differences in style of play, speed, and physicality are significant, but Okoronkwo seems to navigate these waters with a skill that defies the logic of his limited experience on American soil. As he continues to develop under the tutelage of veterans and the guidance of a savvy coaching staff, 
Okoronkwo is not facing the immediate pressure of being a starter. The presence of several experienced linebackers on the team affords him the luxury of growing without the weight of disproportionate expectations. However, his ability to stand out, even when surrounded by established talent, suggests that his future with the Alabama Crimson Tide could be as bright as the lights under which he has already begun to shine. This season may be quite promising for this guy, let's keep an eye on him. In this respect, the Alabama Crimson Tide stands out as a giant, whose former players continue to dominate not only on the NFL fields but also in their paychecks. Recently, ESPN 104.5 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, shed light on an impressive aspect of the success. A chart published by the station, detailing the current earnings of former NFL players who came from SEC schools, placed Alabama in an enviable position. According to the data, former Titers are earning the staggering sum of $539 million currently. To put this in perspective, LSU, which follows as the second school in terms of earnings by former players in the NFL, totals over $200 million less, at $335 million. This financial chasm is a testament not only to the talent that Alabama attracts and develops but also to the winning culture that the program instills in its athletes. Their success in the NFL can be seen as a direct reflection of the preparation they received in Tuscaloosa. Players like Tua Tagovailoa, Jalen Waddell, and Devonta Smith, who have recently signed lucrative contract extensions, are just a few of the names contributing to this impressive total. The impact of Alabama on professional football is a point of pride for the program and tangible proof of its preeminence in American college football. As these former players continue to elevate their game on the most competitive stage of football, they also elevate the name of the University of Alabama, reaffirming its status as a top-tier talent factory. The financial prowess of its former players also serves as a formidable recruitment tool for the Tide. Potential recruits see not just the chance to compete at the highest college level but also the possibility of financial security through NFL contracts that may await them after graduation. This promise of success, both academic and professional, continues to draw elite talent to Alabama, perpetuating the cycle of excellence that the program has built. And the guys who go through Bama, in addition to a lot of talent, are making good money, right? And the proof of that, look at the case of this guy, who also went through Bama. College football has been fertile ground not just for future NFL stars but also for lucrative opportunities off the field thanks to the new, nil, rules. A shining example of this new era is Isaiah Bond, a former Alabama wide receiver, who recently made headlines by signing a nil contract with none other than Lamborghini. And this guy is going to make some serious money. Isaiah Bond, whose college career took a new direction after transferring to Texas following Nick Saban's retirement and the arrival of Kalen DeBoer at Alabama, has demonstrated his value both on and off the field. With an impressive season in 2023, accumulating 668 yards and four touchdowns on 48 receptions, Vaughn not only showcased his technical skills but also solidified his status as a standout athlete. Vaughn's selection by Lamborghini to represent their brand was not just a decision based on his athletic performance. According to Lamborghini Austin, which announced the partnership last Thursday, the contract was also a recognition of his strong academic achievements, community leadership, and success on the field. This acknowledgement serves as a testament to Bond's character and dedication, qualities that transcend his on-field stats and highlight the broader impact an athlete can have on the community. Bond's association with a global brand like Lamborghini marks a significant moment in college sports, underlining how athletes can leverage their skills and influence for partnerships that were previously considered out of reach. Beyond the direct financial impact for Bond, this deal also highlights how college football programs, like Alabama's, prepare athletes not just for sports success but also for life opportunities after graduation. What do you think about these new nil contracts? I want to see your opinion. Comment below.